Hey, what's up? Yeah, Reginald Johnson here. I'm here learning about Google Cloud Platform, and today I'm going to be learning how to create a Windows VM, a Windows virtual machine inside of Google Cloud Platform. I'm using to the the Google Cloud tutorial that they provided, so let's get into it. So first, it's, it's going to tell you to um, select a project or create a new one. Um, if you want to create a new one, you click here, create a new one, and then you click here and you name it whatever you want to, whatever you want in the organization you're in. I didn't create an organization because this is just, you know, my personal account, me trying to learn the cloud. So I'm gonna cancel here. It's gonna load this back up and you go into, you click um, um the project that you wanna select. So that's total beginner for me. Um, I click there and I'm inside of it and then to it, it'll say enable the API's so you'll enable the API's here they're enabled so now we're gonna I'm gonna click next on the thing and of course in the cloud console navigation button click compute engine and click VM instance you can see it by clicking the compute engine button here so normally you would click here in this hamburger menu up top in the upper left hand corner um you scroll to you see compute engine and then you click compute engine you first you go you scroll down to you see compute engine and then you go all the way to vm instances here you click here and it'll bring you to this page here that i'm already on vm instances you says create an instance import vm refresh at the top so of course we're going to go to at the top where the next step says is create instance so we're gonna create an instance. If you don't know where anything is, like say it says create instance, you don't know where it is, you click show me and it'll and it'll bring you right to it. So just know that um, Google Cloud's got your back <laughs> in a little bit. So it says name the instance. I'm gonna name it all, I'm gonna name it beginner um, test windows, because this is a Windows instance. Um, it has to be all lowercase. Even if you try to make any of these uppercases, it's gonna correct you in the, um, at the end of it. In the boot disk session, click change. So we're gonna scroll down to where we, until we can find boot disk. Um, then we're gonna click where it says change. We're gonna click there. It says on the public images tab, change operations with the Windows Server. So we're gonna click here. Um, scroll down so we can see Windows Server. It's all the way at the at the bottom here. It's gonna say Windows Server 2012. Like it wants to know which one that you want. We're gonna click Windows 2016 Data Center Server with Desktop Experience because if you just do Server Core, you'll just get a command line, and if that's all you need for the server, that's fine. But uh, I'm gonna go with a desktop experience just so you can see that we actually get in there and um, fin and, f and fix some stuff. So click that. Um, I'm gonna click select. So it's so keep the default to so select, and it's gonna just show us our monthly estimate for all of our stuff. Looks like we're just doing a test, so you don't have to worry about this unless you're gonna have this running then you have to worry about billing and all of that stuff. But for right now, we're just testing, so we don't gotta worry too much about billing because we're gonna destroy the VM at the end. Um, you scroll down to the bottom, it says firewall, you're gonna click allow HTTPS traffic. That's from an old message from before, which is it's just deleted. Um, and then click create. So we're gonna pause this for a second because it's gonna take a few minutes. So I'm gonna pause it, come right back. So now we're back and the instance is created. It only took a few minutes. Um, so the next thing it says is, so we click create, so we so we click create it. Um, we created the VM, excuse me, uh, can't talk. So the next thing we're gonna do is try to connect to our instance. So it says on the VM instances page, look in the name column to find the VM instance you created, which we have the beginner test windows here. Uh, number two, in the external XP column, copy the external IP address. You will specify this address in your RDP client. So we're gonna go and 
scroll we're gonna scroll over so at the bottom here you see you have the scroll wheel down over down here we want to scroll over and then we have our external IP internal and external IP don't worry about trying to steal this IP because I'm gonna destroy this as soon as this I finish this video so it's gonna not exist um, so you're gonna click copy to clip on keyboard and then we're just gonna open up so we're just gonna open up a notepad just to make sure we have this here this is just something that I'm doing you don't gotta really worry too much about it but I'm just making sure that I have this in notepad just in case um, in the connect column and then click the down arrow and select set windows password so it's saying right next to connect under connect and RDP it has this down arrow you're gonna click there I'm gonna say set windows password so it's gonna have a username here um, so for me it's my name and then you could you could always make this something else that like you can you can um, wipe it out and make it something else so let's say I'm gonna just make it R Johnson my first you know. so I'm gonna just make it my first initial last name just set and then it gives it gives you a password it, it, it sets a password for you you can't um, I'm, I've been unable to change this like so see so it sets a password for you you see I'm trying to type change the password so just remember that it gives you um, it's own secure password so you're gonna copy this to clipboard and click close so there's two ways you can do this right now to connect you can um, either just you know you could just simply pull up I'm using Windows 11 you can just simply pull up your RDP um, client let's say we're going back to notepad I'm gonna copy and paste that password that it gave me I'm gonna copy this IP because it's the IP that they gave me paste let's clear that up let's go copy I have my previous username in there before from before I wiped it out hit hit R Johnson then click connect it's gonna to try to connect I'm gonna use this password here to try to connect to it so I'm gonna hit control V on my keyboard to copy and so to paste it so control C you hit copy Control V is paste on your keyboard. So remember that. And then click OK. So login attempt failed. Click OK again. So this is typically a situation. This is typically is something I ran into before. So when you can't connect to RDP, um, I'm gonna show you what to do, but I'm also show you where to find the answer, how to search for the how to get the answer. So um What's happening is we have trouble connecting to the to the instance. So it says troubleshooting RDP. You click here. So it, it'll tell you to go through all these steps. Ensure the VM is online and ready, and it'll tell you what to go um what to go through. So it'll tell you to go through this. Um, check your inst Windows instance password. Make sure your Windows instance password is good. Check to see if you use a Windows Server Core. It'll tell you to check that. Um, check your VPC firewall rule. So, in my experience with this, so far, in my short time, um, I'm just going to give you the guys the answer. Um, this was the issue. The firewall, because I can't connect. So, I felt like there was something wrong with the firewall and it tells you how to check it so like it tells you like all the things to check for first troubleshooting RDP make sure the VM is on make sure your Windows instance password is correct make sure if you're using Windows Server Core which shouldn't matter so much but it still tells you to check this anyway um, so and then check your VPC firewall rule so for me when I when I first set this up, this was the issue. So I'm telling you guys, hey, definitely go through all these steps here that I went through, but I'm only gonna show you 
um, the G Cloud Compute um, firewall rule. So it tells you the, tells you the it tells you here the um, the commands that you have to type in. So we're gonna go ahead and type. We're gonna go ahead and go back to our trusty console. I'm gonna move this off the screen for a second. We're gonna go back to our trusty console. So we're back on the console. I'm making sure that I can see everything. Okay, we're back on the console here. And what we're going to do is open up the G Cloud console. So to open up the G Cloud console, um, you click this trusty activate cloud shell at the top here. You click this. It's going to open this up at the bottom of the screen there. It's going to provision stuff, stuff, stuff. I, I, I move this up just to make it a little bigger so you guys can see um, what I'm typing and everything like everything uh, everything of that nature. I don't want y'all to not be able to see this. So, of course, the first thing it tells you to do is when you're in here, in the command line, gotta love it, command line stuff, G Cloud Compute, excuse me, let's put computer, Compute Firewall, Rules list. Oh, I typed it wrong. See, making mistakes. I told you, I'm, I told you, I'm new. So, firewall rules list. G cloud. I can't spell, bro. I put a G L in front. Joint. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Y'all gonna make fun of me. Oh well. Just, just to let you know, we all make mistakes, man. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna hit you with the G Cloud requesting your credentials to make a GCP API call. Cause right now all we're trying to do is connect. All we're just trying to do is connect. So, um, what we're looking for is to see is TCP 3389 um, in this list. So if TCP 3389 is not in this list, then we have to add it. So. It tells you in that instruction when you click um, troubleshooting RDP, it'll tell you all this. Uh, all this over here that I'm highlighting, it'll tell you um, in the instruction where to find it. The Google Cloud instructions have been really good. You see me walking through it now with y'all, so y'all know that hey, these these are actually pretty good. So, not to get not to make this video too long, um, we look and see TCP 3389 is not here. So what we have to do is have to add it. So next we're gonna type G. So we're gonna go down here, type G cloud compute fire. I type too fast sometimes. Wall firewall dash rules create allow dash RDP. And then we hit dash dash allow space TCP. No, there's a, there's a there's a colon there. Thirty three eighty nine because that's the one we were looking for that was not there. You click press hit enter. It's creating the firewall rule. says it already oh my dumb behind it says it already exists here so I'm, I'm gonna just double check this make sure I can add this so it already exists so now Next thing we have to verify is the external IP address. So now we hit G Cloud. I always type the GL. G Cloud Compute Instances List. So we get, so now we're trying to verify this IP address. 
34.135.30.232. Okay, so that's correct. So now we're just going to try to um, connect with the information that we have in the notepad. So in the notepad we have, yep, that's the same information that we have. So we're going to hit RDP. So I had to use the at that that original. Um, so that's another thing. Like I set R Johnson, but they want me to use this one. So even in the cloud console, it's it's my um, my first name underscore my middle initial underscore Johnson wants me to use that. So that's what we're gonna use. That's what we're gonna use to try to connect to this instance. Um, so now I'm just gonna copy and paste that password they gave me. So now, since this is not working, what we're gonna do is set a new password. Have that, we have that going. So now we're gonna try to go back to RDP. So, Bring, bring up RDP again, connect. We still, we still have that password, copy and paste it. And bam, we just see, once you see this, you know we are good. Click yes. Bam, we are now connected to the instance. And you see the, you see the Windows desktop, you see I'm inside of this thing. It's just, it's just loading up. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just want this to load up so you can see it, see it happen. But that's pretty much it, folks. Like, we have a Windows VM instance inside of Google Cloud that we cre that we created. And that's it, and then you will configure it as as such but right now like i said we just wanted to create it and get it up so now that we have this up um next thing we have to do is we have to um just you know dis destroy the, v the um the virtual machine now since we have it up we know how to configure it um all inside of inside of google cloud according to the instructions we did it we did it all including some troubleshooting um so we're gonna i'm gonna close out of this RDP here. I'm going to close the cloud shell for now. Um, so it says success. I'm going to hit next on the thing. The clean up the instances is real simple. You just hit the three dots here. Like it tells you right here in the instructions. So make sure you read through these instructions. The instructions are really good. But basically you're going to click these three dots here on the side. Um, of the beginner test windows to see we're in the beginner test windows thing here Click the three dots where it says more actions go down and click delete Delete beginner test windows. This will also delete the boot disk click delete click yes and It Deletes the instance and that's it. You know what I'm saying so we're not getting a large bill because we have a virtual machine running so that is all folks um, creating a Windows instance inside of Google Cloud by following the instructions. I'm a total beginner. Um, thank you for watching the video. I'm out. Peace.